Also, we take this association and the public keys and we sign them by a certificate authority. Now let me explain why we do this. Of course it's enough from a practical, technical perspective for anyone to issue themselves a public and a private key and we can actually encrypt and sign documents or files or information. The problem is anyone can generate those public-private keys and claim to be anyone they want. How, in fact, do I prove that when you present yourself to be a representative of Amazon.com, in this case establishing a secure web server connection so that I can enter my credit card and purchase books or other types of information, how can I verify that you really are Amazon.com? What happens in this case is the company of Amazon would take their public and private keys and their organizational information, take it to a well-known and respected certificate authority, and have their public and private keys and their information that's collected as a certificate signed by the certificate authority. Now I know what you're saying. Well, wait a minute, Cam. Who signs the certificate authority? At some point, we simply have to trust the organization that claims to be a certificate authority. When they say that they have proven that a company is who they say they are, we have to take it on good faith. It's also important to understand that the certificate authority can be delegated. In other words, many times a top-level certificate authority will sign the certificate for a company and that company in turn establishes themselves as a certificate authority and continues the process. In this way a chain of trust is established. Keep in mind that certificates can be issued and expired manually, meaning that you physically have to transfer it from a disk system. You have to go talk to an individual and present credentials and prove that you are who you say you are and they physically give you a media that holds this digital encryption information. Or you can also do it automatically. Now that we understand that certificates are nothing more than public and private keys that are associated with an organization or an entity and their identifying information, along with a signature or a confirmation by another trusted source, let's take a look at how we use certificates.